It's been a year and I thought I'd give you an update on the performance of my solar system and give you some numbers, how well it did and, and whether or not I'm happy with it. And I'll just tell you up front, I, I'm really happy with it. It has completely exceeded my expectations and in fact it has returned uh, almost $1,500 in the first year, which is more than I expected it to do. and. Um, certainly enough to make it worth doing so I am really pleased with it so far. I'll give you some details on the numbers. First of all I'd like to go over the uh, digital layout uh, for those of you who haven't seen the install video and I'll, I'll leave a link to that if you want to see the the whole install but but I have a 7.6 kilowatt inverter and 25 375 watt mission solar panels. In this view you can see uh, the lower string is 13 and the upper string is 12 and because I have power optimizers I can have unbalanced strings like that. And with the optimizers I'm able to get the most out of every panel. You can see that this panel here is 2.3 kilowatt hours for this particular day. And this panel up here put out 2.4 two kilowatt hours for this particular day. This is the Solar Edge uh, production estimate calculator and this is the layout, physical layout of the panels in the system and you can tell it your geographic location, and in my case I am in Ohio, and the orientation, mine point due south as well as the angle and it'll calculate the power output uh, both DC and AC. This is showing 9.3 kilowatts, uh, 9.38 kilowatts for the DC production and then the DC AC oversizing is 123 percent because my inverter can only handle 7.6 kilowatts and that's called clipping and the reason you would do that is the inverters are expensive so it makes sense to oversize the array a little bit relative to the inverter and that way you maximize the performance of the system relative to the total cost. Uh, this is predicting 9.49 megawatt hours for a year and down here you can see the distribution over the months that's expected obviously January, February, November, December very low production months and uh, this pr predicts June May, June, July to be the highest production months. First I want to give you a little bit of uh, understanding of what the clipping is and what the real life impact was for me. This is the dashboard on the SolarEdge website which gives you the current power, um, the energy produced today, the energy produced this month, and the lifetime energy of the system, as well as a lifetime revenue which is based on a number of cents per kilowatt that you can put in. I think I have this set like around nine cents which is uh, kind of an average for me. Uh, I pay 14 cents but my utility only pays me four cents for overproduction. So I have two days shown here. Here's a cloudy day. You can see the sun comes up a little before uh, 8 a.m. It's pretty cloudy, very cloudy in the beginning. Uh, clouds lighten up a little bit but still it never goes up to the maximum output of the inverter which is 7.6 kilowatts. This one maxes out at about 5 kilowatts on this particular day uh, which would be no clipping. Um, all the power that's produced gets converted. In, in this case is a, a sunny day. On this sunny day you can see the sun comes up a little before 8 and ramps up very steadily and then there's this little cap and what that's showing is the clipping. If, my, if I had a larger inverter, say a 10 kilowatt inverter, you would see this would continue to rise up to the 9.38 or, or maybe more because these panels put out a little bit more than they're rated for. Um, and you would have this very nice parabola, but the inverter maxes out at 7.6 and so you clip or lose that little point on the, um, on the curve there of energy that could have been produced. So that's what clipping is and um, in my case there's a little bit but you know there aren't that many 100% sunny days and there's only a few hours where it gets clipped so it's not a huge impact. 
So this is a comparison of Orange, the estimate that SolarEdge's uh, calculator estimated my system would produce. And then green is what it actually produced over the period of, of one year. And you can see some months like January and March here, the uh, estimated and actual were almost identical. And then some other months like June, July, August, September, October even, um, were well ahead of the estimated production, which contributed to my um, significantly exceeding the expectations for this first year. So I made a chart of the numbers throughout the year so that you can uh, see exactly what happened. So on the left here, I have the month that I collected the data. I put the system in, started it in October of 2019. And so that's uh, why I have those months that way. So if you look in January, the production estimate was 500 and the production actual was 500. So it was a 0% deviation from the expected. In that month, I used 2,395 kilowatt hours for that whole month. Um, but because I produced 500 with my solar panels, my utility only charged me for 1895 So if I hadn't had solar, I would have had a $301 electric bill, but since I had the solar contributing, uh, it was reduced to 233 for that month, uh, $68 savings. And 68 is my worst performing month out of the year. Now if we drop down to, um, let's see, July, you can see my savings was almost $180 that month. The prediction was about a megawatt hour, but my actual was almost 50% more than that at 1.55 megawatt hours. And uh, my total usage that month was 2,500, but I was only billed for uh, 1,000 kilowatt hours because of the uh, significant production that month. My bill would have been $322 that month. It was actually only $144 for $180 savings. Now, when I add these up, the bill without solar for the year would have been about $3,000 and my actual was fifteen hundred so my total savings for the year was about fourteen eighty eight so almost fifteen hundred dollars for the year which is about a hundred and thirty three dollars a month on average uh, that the panels are bringing in and what i found is the average um, over production than the solar edge estimate was about thirty seven percent over the course of the year. So that's that's pretty good. Of course the panels are expected to deteriorate uh, slightly over time so there's some margin built in for that and um, maybe over a few years I'll be able to tell um, what that degradation looks like for me. But what I found is uh, if I continue at this current pace I'll actually pay this system off in uh, six and a half years which is pretty quick and I would have to put my money into a CD producing more than 15% interest in order to get the same return that these panels are, are giving me. And in fact, um, since this is a cost avoidance that's not actually income, I would have to earn uh, about 1.5% more than that because a CD is considered income and I'd have to pay taxes on that. So this has turned out to be a, a really great uh, investment for me. So in conclusion, I think that this system has totally been worth it. I, I, would, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I, I really am happy I did the ground-based array. Uh, it's made it a lot easier for me to check things and uh, I've even scraped snow off of it. Um, although I, I can go into why that is or isn't worth the trouble, maybe on another video. But the nearly $1,500 savings in the first year was more than I expected. It, it totally validates this installation. Uh, it, it was a great choice and a great decision and, and from this point I would certainly do it again. So if you want to see more videos on this, I have made a video of the complete install and I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description below and you can go and watch the install. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification button. And I will try and make some more videos with some details on the performance and numbers behind it, as well as maybe some more details on uh, some of the assembly and construction that people have asked about. So please like and subscribe and hit the notification button so that next time I have a video with some more details, you'll be able to check it out. Thank you very much. Happy solar.